Buhari Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Ameichi, has finally resigned from Buhari's cabinet. The Nigerian Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Ameichi, has finally resigned from office. You might be surprised that he has resigned despite the fact that the Attorney General Malami refuses to leave on the deadline day. The minister's resignation is in line with the directive of President Muhammad Buhari to cabinet members with political ambitions. Buhari last Wednesday at the end of the weekly Federal Executive Council FEC meeting in Abuja directed members of his cabinet seeking political offices to resign on or before Monday. May 16, 2022. Amechi has since declared to run for president in 2023. Emeka Nwajiba, Minister of State for Education, who is also seeking to run for president in the next general elections, had resigned before the president's directive. Sahara Reporters learned about Amici's resignation on Monday. Amici has finally resigned from office, a top source told Sahara reporters. However, Amici's counterpart in the Ministry of Justice, Abubakar Malami, has refused to resign despite today, Monday, being the deadline. Sahara reporters also learned. Malami, who is also, the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, had in April declared interest in the Kirby State Governorship race. However, last Friday, he pulled out of the Kirby State Governorship race, multiple sources had told Sahara reporters. He had distributed over 200 exotic vehicles to party members ahead of the governorship primary in the state. He had also submitted his 50 million party nomination form at the International Conference Center. Several sources close to the minister said he withdrew from the race over fear that he may not get the ticket. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction? See, a lot of things are actually happening in this uh, small country called Nigeria. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amici, has finally resigned from his office because he wants to run for the 2023 presidency and it is in line with the directive of Mr. President saying that you have to resign from any elective office you must have been holding if you want to actually in a contest for the position of the president. The minister's resignation pardon, is in line with the directive of President Muhammad Buhari to cabinet member with political ambitions and the Attorney General of the Federation AGF Abubakar Malami also have to resign for him to be qualified but he has refused to leave on the deadline day, which is today, you know, the 16th of May. What is your thought to this? Do, do you think Malami is up to something with this that he has done? Can you just imagine, despite all the effort put in place in order to get the party ticket for the Kirby State governorship election, he withdrew. People might be wondering why he withdrew, but according to what has been said, he withdrew over fear that he might not get the party ticket. Several sources close to the minister said he withdrew from the race over fear that he may not get the ticket. What is your thought to this? All the money he, you know, he spent has gone to waste because over 200 exotic, you know, exotic vehicles were purchased by him to the party's cabinet, you know, the to the party and imagine he cannot take it back the 50 million naira nomination form he purchased who will use it you can see that 
we have money in this country, but our leaders are spending recklessly. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. But before we go, let's see what people have felt concerning the present situation we are facing in Nigeria. Which the mic is said, good riddance to bad rubbish. Although Nigeria have a culture of impurity, we public servants are not responsible for the people, but for Amechi, he has no moral capacity to lead a country. Victims of the train attack are still wallowing in pain due to Amechi led in aptitude, but here is you know here he is pardon fighting stick fighting sick tinobu to win the party tickets all these things can only happen only in nigeria that is what has been said by wisdom michael saying that although nigeria has a culture of impunity we are public servants are not responsible for the people but for amechi he has no moral capacity to lead the country Victims of the train attack are still wallowing in pain due to the Amechi led in aptitude, but here he is fighting Sikh Tinubu to win the party ticket. What is your thought to this? What is your own reaction to this brain development? Don't forget that we've also heard about Abaka Malami, who is the Attorney General of the Federation, who has also refused to withdraw and to resign from office despite the fact that. Today is the deadline, yet he hasn't. Ido Wutaiwo said, Malami is above the law, so nothing will happen. Malami has already pulled out of the governorship race of Kwara State. The main issue of resignation is Emifili and not Malami. Another reaction from Joseph, saying that I think it is Emifili that needs to be talked to now and not Malami because Malami has already withdrew from the Kebi State governorship race. What is your own thought to this? What is your own reaction to this development? We would like you to share it with us via the comment section. We have spoken well, both people who have you know commented on this, they have all spoken well. We would like you also to let us know your own point of view to this. Don't forget that the power is in our hands. The power is in my hands, is in your hands in order to get the right choice. For Nigeria, get your voters card ready and come out to vote for your most preferred candidate. We would like you to let us know your own point of view to this. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.